Hi, my name is John Voris. I'm one of the co-creators of Primitive, the immersive development environment. We're here at the Upload Collective in San Francisco at the Mixed Reality Studio. We're looking at a couple of different code bases today, and we're going to be showing some of our new features that we've built to help you navigate really large code bases. So the one I'm looking at, the one that's behind me right now, is a Java code base called Deep Learning 4J. If you do anything with machine learning or you're interested in um, uh, sort of getting into that space, um, this is a really great code base uh, to get you started. Uh, it has tie-ins to all kinds of different machine learning um, tool bases that you can use to do all kinds of different uh, neural networks and, and deep learning algorithms. So I'm going to show you that um, now. Um, and I'm going to be showing some features that actually help you to explore the code base, because it is a large one. It's over 600,000 lines of code. So with Primitive, what we're doing is we're actually laying that code out for you in this 3D space um, to make it a little bit e more approachable. Um, that's what we'd like to, to show you here. So for starters, I'm just going to um, give you a little bit of a lay of the land here. We can see here in the center, this big label, this is the main uh, package that the code is contained inside of. This is Deep Learning 4J. And then branching off of it, we're going to have a variety of other packages. Um, we can see um, an optimization package, text, UI, models. Uh, neural Net is back there. We're going to be looking a lot at that one. Clustering. And then I'm going to start with this one here in front, which is parallelism. Um, so if we dive in here and we look at the main, um, and in Java, what we're looking for is the public static void main. That's what I have here in front of me. So you can see here that we just launched the code here. But then we want to see where this goes. So we built this new set of tools that allow you to explore what we're calling code paths. This is where you have um, many different paths that this code ends up branching off into. And we're going to follow one of those paths along to see where it takes us. So you can see that here, these little comets start to shoot off. And then run gets called. And that's where a lot of code ends up getting called, and especially off in the background there in the neural network package. Um, so we see these are all the methods that get called as a result of calling that run method. I'll run it one more time, and then you can see you can follow that chain of activity. So again, the two methods get called initially and then run. And then we see that um, there's a lot of calling happening over, uh, you know, across the code base. But primarily, it's concentrated back in the neural network um, part of the code base. So let's go ahead and follow that path and see where it takes us. So for starters, as I said, we're just calling the main. We're calling run main. We find ourselves down into this set of code. And we can see here that we have all the classes and all the functions that are called by this particular part of the path. This part of the code we were exploring we thought was interesting. Um, this is Keras, which is a actually a Python library that is very popular. So Deep Learning 4J is effectively act, acting as a wrapper around that, so you can interact with it. So we are importing models and weights. That's going to take us here to the model builder. What we can see here is if we look backwards and forwards, we can, and actually I'm going to navigate this um, uh, all the way back to the beginning so we can go through that path again. Um, so you see here from the beginning, we're calling into main. And then as we progress down this chain of calls, we eventually get to a point where we are interacting with the Keras uh, library. And there is a model that is getting built. So this means it's a concurrent neural network that has to import some initialization values for the model and for the weights on each one of the nodes in the neural net. So we continue down that direction. And we see like we're sort of abstracted away from the actual meat of the logic. But as we call into it, we're about eight or 10 method calls deep here. We eventually get to the point where we are actually looking at the layers inside of the uh, neural network. So I can look inside of this code here, and I can see that the layers are getting set up and ordered. And there's a for loop in here that's actually setting up the, the order of all the layers inside of the neural network. And so from that point, uh, when we call in there, we can see all these different layers that are, uh, and actually there's this package here that's right in front of me. Um, that just has lots and lots of objects and lots of methods that are getting called. And that sort of cascade of effects, really, you can, it, um, our animation here really draws your eye to that so that you can really clearly see where the flow is primarily concentrated. So there's a lot of different paths that you can take inside of this code. Um, but here we're illustrating one of them. And uh, we're illustrating it in this linear format. We can also see three-dimensionally we're uh, calling through the space. And we can see we started in the, D in the um, parallelism package. And then we've made our way over to Keras inside of neural network, inside of convolutional. And then we're finally ending up inside of the layers package, 
which is part of the uh, conforming um, uh, parent package inside of neural network. So you can trace that path through the 3D. And you can imagine the equivalent doing this in a 2D editor. Um, you just be opening up lots and lots and lots of tabs um, and sort of losing your context for where you came from. Um, this way, in 3D, you actually, your, your brain is able to hold this information a little bit better um, and remember it uh, more sharply. Um, so this is a feature we're really excited about and really found it's very useful um, to explore deep parts of uh, a code base.